All right, guys, welcome to the video. First off, don't judge me on the quality of my camera right now. We're going to improve it. That's what this video is about. So a lot of people have been asking me, uh, your webcam looks pretty good. What do you use? And they're surprised to hear it's just the Logitech C920. When I got it, it was $49 on sale. Super cheap. I think it's the best webcam that you really need until you step up to something like the Logitech Brio, which is like $200. Or if you choose to go like mirrorless or DSLR, those can be, you know, four to you know 4000 or sorry four up to like a thousand plus so depending on the lenses and things like that so let's go ahead and hop into the settings and i'll show you guys exactly um what we're going to change the only issue with the c920 is whenever you're using software i use obs studio uh, but if you use streamlabs obs it's the exact same process but the webcam does not save the settings nor does the logic you know the software so every time you get in here you'll have to do this but once you do it the first time which we're going to walk through it slow once you do it the first time or maybe the first two, three times, it'll be slow, but then you can do it in like 30 seconds. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, not the end of the world, but that's what you get for a $49 webcam, you know, 49 to $60, whatever you guys end up spending. So let's switch over to display capture. It's going to look a little funky I'm trying to get everything on screen. So this is my window that you guys are seeing, obviously. Um, so we are going to have our webcam here. And then obviously we have our you know, uh, settings here. So you're going to double click on webcam. We'll close this down, double click on webcam and it opens up this. So we're going to drag it to the side so we can see our, see our webcam. And I suggest you do this with like your webcam full screen, but we don't have that right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down first before we get into any of the saturation and sharpness, all that, uh, you want to change this to custom and you want it to be 1920 by 1080. That's the maximum resolution that your webcam will allow um, 30 frames per second is the maximum it's going to give you the smoothest image you want to do that um, make sure your video format i am no you know audio visual expert this is just the settings that have worked for me and people that have really um, complimented me on this so set your video format to mjpeg you don't want the h.264 mjpeg color space at 709 and color range to full i see a lot of people put it at partial or default Default, as you can tell, you don't see a whole lot of difference, but we'll see the difference later. Color range, if you go partial, it, see how dark it looks? It looks like crap. You want color range to be full. Okay, you're not going to mess with any other settings. Buffer is on auto detect. You're not going to flip it vertically. If you do, it looks stupid. It's upside down. Okay. Um, see? So you don't want to do that. So once those settings are there, you're going to scroll up, and the only thing you need to worry about is configure video here. Okay, so we're going to click on configure video. And you definitely want to see this next to your webcam so you can see the changes. The very first thing you can do, okay, is not on this page. You're going to click on camera control, the tab up here. Look that. Low light compensation is the biggest killer for webcams that I've seen. So obviously it makes it look a little bit brighter, okay? This is the silliest thing. See how my, see how my fingers look very blurry? Okay, see that? Now, now turn off low light compensation. You don't want that on. Okay, the colors look a little bit more natural. And see, the motion blur is gone. So it, it makes your webcam instantly smoother. Instantly, okay. That's the only thing you need to worry about on this page. Zoom, focus, all that stuff should be zoomed all the way out, unless you just want to get crazy and zoom in on your webcam for whatever reason. So zoom should be all the way out. Everything else, leave it on auto. You just don't worry about it. Okay, this is where the big changes are going to be made, okay. A lot of the times when I turn this on, the gain is all the way to the top we're going to work our way up okay we'll jump around a little bit the only thing that should be left on auto is white balance that's going to show how warm or cool your image looks aka orange or blue your image looks you want to leave that on auto gain um like i said no audio visual expert i just noticed that whenever gain is down you have the least amount of grain possible gain you really aren't going to see any color difference when you slide side to side but leave your gain at zero it's not needed backlight compensation I've always turned that completely off. Um, it makes everything a little bit brighter, but you can change that up here on the brightness settings. So turn that down. Sharpness is huge as well. Um, let's get our brightness corrected first, okay? So for brightness, you're always going to, you know, my room looks a little different right now because I usually stream at night. So the, this window is obviously a huge backlight. So it's going to be a little bit different from how I usually set it up, but basically you want to turn brightness up, but you got to be careful because it starts to leave a white look all over your, all over your webcam. If you turn it up too bright, see that it starts to look washed out. So you want to turn it down to where it starts to look a little bit natural. 
and then you're gonna go back and forth between brightness and contrast. I like my cameras dark. So there you go. You can still see the lines on my shirt, so it's dark, but not too crazy dark. I think the brightness is okay. I turn it down a little bit just because I like my webcam darker. Saturation, um, that's, you know, if you go all the way down, it goes black and white. It's how much color is in the image. And if you go way too high, you can see that, you know, the web, the webcam, or sorry, the microphone here is blown out. The lights behind my bed are blown out and, you know, look nasty on my wall. And I also look like an Oompa Loompa wearing lipsticks. <laughs> you don't want that. So turn it up and then slowly start to turn it back until the colors start to look a little bit more natural. Okay, so here you can see a little bit of my tan, but I don't look orange. Doesn't look like I'm wearing lipstick. Okay, so sharpness is what the final one that you're going to move on to. This one is huge as well because sharpness, if you turn it down, it makes you look really soft, kind of blurry. But if you go up too high, you look super grainy. But as you can tell, the graininess actually doesn't look terrible, so we're going to stay on that end of the spectrum. So luckily for me, I have I have a beard, obviously. Um, you can use your hair as another thing. You want to be able to like see the distinct hairs without it looking too grainy. Now with graininess up here on the wall, see how it kind of looks like static? Um, you can also see that on the face a little bit. But as you start to turn down the sharpness, that staticness on your face will go away. But you want to make sure that, you know, look at my beard. You can see how the hairs are getting softer and more in focus. You want them to be in focus, but not where they're too much, where it's too much graininess on your face, okay? So that's my settings right there. So that's really quick. Make sure you hit apply, hit okay, and hit okay. Now with this webcam, I stream in 1080p, but it's usually really small. So the smaller your webcam looks, it will look better. It's like if you took a, you know, a, 2 megapixel or a 1080p image and you stretched it out huge, it's going to start to look pixelated and grainy. So the smaller you have your webcam, it looks good. So here, okay, still looks a little bit grainy, but it looks better than it did originally. And if we go up to my live screen, I'm obviously not playing Sea of Thieves or anything right now, but see how good my webcam looks, okay? Um, it does look pretty dang good. You know, I'm not trying to like pat myself on the back, but it does. And if you go up to uh, display capture again, and notice how my webcam has these green lines. This is another thing people have asked. They're like, how'd you get your webcam skinny and long like that? All you do is press Alt, and on the little adjuster squares here on your screen, um, that will actually cut off your image. So if you press and hold Alt, see this is where my webcam originally was, was we can, that's where it is, okay? But nobody needs to see the, you know, the very top of my head don't need to see the bottom of my, my microphone. So I think it gives it a little bit of an artistic look, a little bit neater of a look if you bring those down. If, you're, if you have something off, you know, obviously this is a pretty wide view uh, webcam. If you didn't want to see this picture over here or something like that, you can drag in that side um, and just set it up for, you know, whatever you want to see in your, in your webcam. You know, that way you don't have to move your webcam or anything like that. So that's why on my live screen, my webcam's skinnier and longer, and how you fit your frame around that, which is pretty interesting, is, uh, so if I grab my frame, let's click that, and, oh, not my frame. Oh, I got them all locked together. Hang on just a second. Uh, webcam frame. Oh, that's my other webcam frame, sorry. Um, it's this one, okay. So I have a webcam frame that's hidden right now, that's why we weren't seeing it. So this webcam frame, you can actually adjust it for your webcam using the shift bar. So if you hold shift while you're adjusting, see how it stretches out the frame? So you just line up the top two corners, top, you know, left corner up here, and then you grab the other side and you stretch it until it covers up your webcam perfectly. Oh, uh, top is a little bit short there. Hang on, I grabbed the, there we go. So that's how you fit your webcam frame if you have one to your resized webcam image. So anyways, guys, I hope that that helped you. The C920 is not a bad looking webcam, for, especially for the price. Of course, if you step up to mirrorless or DSLR, that's a whole nother world. But what's really nice is with this webcam, the main key, which is the most difficult thing for me, is lighting. So if you have something like the Elgato key lights or just a random you know, light that you use like I do, I have one of those Pixar looking lights you know, that I use, that I shine it against my wall. That way it kind of reflects light back. It's not like a super harsh light on me. 
the webcam, uh, the Logitech C920 is known for it, the more light that you have, the better it's going to look. So this is the way that I've been able to make my webcam look as good as it does in low light without looking bad. Obviously, I don't try to stick on this screen too much whenever I'm on my live screen and it's smaller. It looks a lot nicer, guys. So that's what I would do. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, drop them down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section if you have other questions about streaming software, such as encoder settings, you know, what I use bitrate wise, things like that. Let me know and I'll be sure to make a video about it, guys. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching. Have a good day, guys.